It's Josie's boy. Whole lot of turkey ass. Yeah. Say no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> hey man. Bone appetit. <laughs> but no nah, man, that was fucking hilarious though. This nigga said, Dorbit, you say the best piece for you. Turkey, turkey ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. But nah, for real. Like, I don't eat ass all like that, but special occasions, birthdays, you know, Martin Luther King Day, you know what I mean? Valentine's Day. He might get a couple licks. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're looking for that, then you're looking for him and not me. Check. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But. I don't even know what the fuck I'm about to say. So you started thinking about eating ass and it started getting appealing to you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Say no. <laughs> hey, man. That's probably why my motherfucking shit ain't growing up. <laughs> fuck all that, man. My, chlor my, 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 my uh, pores is probably clogged. <laughs> I, wish, I wish a bitch would pull her pants down and point her ass at me. <laughs> She gonna be mad as hell talking about, girl, this nigga kicked me. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, um, shit. Yeah, niggas will do anything for a place to stay. Mm -hmm. Niggas be talking to bitches like they writing jail letters and shit for a place to stay. <laughs> and it's crazy because the way I, I, the way I pick my women, I look at two things. I look at their lips and the way they walk. Cause if your lips look right and you got some nice big lips, I know you can suck some dick. And if you got a nice walk, I know that pussy good. So that's how I judge my bitches on they walking on their lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, second, I'm sorry, I like getting my dick sucked. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I need I need somebody who can go down there and perform when I need them to perform. Because I might only have like two or three minutes before I got to go outside and catch the bus. So I'm going to need somebody to <laughs> help me bus before I get on the bus. You know what I'm saying? And I need you to be able to do it with in under five minutes. Say, bitch, it's Sunday. You know the last bus come at 9.30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 9.27 and a half. Cause I get digital watches that tell it in sec. Cause I, I can't tell time all like that. I ain't good at telling. Yeah, so I get the digital choice. I don't get the analog. So I know every second of the second, and I'm judging. Cause if you a second over, bitch, you paying me for the day I missed. It's like no. And on that note, this is the part of the show where y'all do know. Cause some of y'all motherfuckers is slow. Y'all do know when. In the middle of the show, when it stops and we put on the screen, we're about to promote something. Be right back. Y'all know we come right back after whatever we promote. Like, we come back. This is the second half of the show. Y'all do know that, right? I guarantee there's some of y'all slow motherfuckers that's only been watching half the show. Because, you know, when that break come, they think. It's over. So, from now on, I'm going to remind y'all. We coming right back, mm -hmm. so don't go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you want to pee real quick or something, go grab a snack or something, go ahead, hurry up, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck that, you should have had that shit before you turned this motherfucker on, you better get a piss bottle. Hey, real talk. It's like, no. Nah. Pips <laughs> go through things like this from time, time to time. time. Yeah, hell yeah. But we about to take a break, we coming right back, it's probably only going to be like 
30 some seconds. You yeah. coming right back. Don't go nowhere. Yeah, because one of these bitches is calling me. They, they, they getting on my nerves. They my line. And shout out to our sponsor real quick. Knights and Kings Apparel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You Go to it. officialkkbrand.com and get yours right now. Shout out to Mel Knight, CEO and owner. And we'll be back in a second. Yo, yo, what's up to all my knights and kings out there? Y'all see us? What's up with it? I know y'all trying to stay fresh and get fly. I know knights and kings got that drip for the summer. Go check them out. So go to officialkkbrand.com right now and get yours. Don't be left out. I know who it is, it's I am my Jeep now, owner and CEO, creator of Knights and Kings, and I appreciate everybody out there that supports the brand, man. Y'all already know what it is, stay united, and yo, loyalty is royalty. But we was debating the other day, we was having, well, a debate, a GOAT debate. And then we was just talking about who our favorite players was and shit. So if y'all get a chance, go down in the comments. And I want to know who's your top five on the greatest of all time list. Who do you have as the GOAT? Number two, three, four, five. And I want to know your, your top five favorite players. Might be the same as that list. Might be different. Mine is different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, what's yours? I want to know what yours is. Well, goat list first. Let's do the goat list first. My greatest of all time, to me, I it, it gotta be Larry Bird. What? I like, like at first to me it was, it was Mike, but just that that video do it got anything to do with that video we that watched today? That video it did. That video did help. But what we'll see what it was was. I always knew that Larry Bird had to be in a conversation as one of the greatest because of how he was on the court. A lot of motherfuckers feared Larry Bird. Him and Magic Johnson changed the face of the NBA and dominated. Listen, for a whole 10-year period, there was like a 10-year period where it was either the Lakers, Lakers or the Celtics, Celtics winning the title. It was, yeah, they, they was going at it. I think Detroit snuck two in. Detroit snuck two in, and then it was L.A. And then it was or L.A. Boston. or Boston. But it was just like the shit that Larry Bird did on the court. Like, Larry Bird will get the ball and tell you, all right, bro, I'm about to dribble two times with my right, take it between my legs, do a half a spin. And bank it off the uh, and bank it off the backboard, and he will literally do Dude, exactly exact what the fuck shit. he just told you he was about to do to you. He used to do shit like walk over to the opposing team's bench and stand over top of the dude that's going to guard him tonight, and then look at somebody else on that team and say, "I'm putting up thirty on him tonight." Then he will walk away and put up 30 on that motherfucker that night. Like, Bird was a bad Bird motherfucker. Bird was a bad Bird motherfucker. Bird was so good, I hated him when I was a kid. Bird. Ooh, I, ooh Bird. man, I hated Larry Bird when I was a kid. Boy, I did not like that, Bird. Man, and it was because he was so motherfucking good. And I hated any time they beat L.A., Anytime they beat the Sixers, anytime they beat the Knicks, I used to be so fucking mad because I used to be like, if it wasn't for fucking Bird. Right. And it's, and it's crazy because it's not like Bird just and dominated he was in points. He was he, uh, he clutch. Was a, he was one of the clutch shooters. One and of the clutch shooters. Bird's the type of motherfucker, like they said on that video, he had the unique ability to dominate a game. To take over a game, even if he, he wasn't, wasn't shooting, scoring. yeah, man, like, and that's another thing. Like he didn't even he didn't just dominate in scoring. He dominated in assists, steals. He rebounds. did everything on the court. He, he did, did everything. everything. He court. did everything. But that video but that's interesting because I, I I don't hear too many people there. I, I heard a few, but you're one of the very few that I hear say he's the goat. He's the, I think right, he's so the. Who's the I rest of your list? Goat. Um. 
Number two, I got to get a code. I got to get a code because Kobe's work ethic on and off the court, Kobe's mindset on the game, Kobe's... Nobody um, in the history of basketball attacked the game the way Kobe did mentally and physically. And the way he was able to lead his team and take on that leadership role. That with him, like, he was just like, like... Like, like when, you, when you hire somebody to do a job, you want them to be dedicated to that job. When, when you draft a motherfucker, you want them to be dedicated to the team. Okay, Kobe was dedicated to basketball. He was dedicated to being the best that he could possibly be. be. And to him, that was the greatest of all oh, time. And he man. always worked and strived to... It's Jersey's boy.